Okay guys, so here is the shawl that you saw in the pictures in the beginning. Um, and for this I used, it would be helpful if I got in the shot here, I used Noro um, yarn for this. It is a four weight and it is the Takanatsu flavor, if you will, of the Noro brand. 136 yards, 125 meters, and I used actually this hook, a seven millimeter hook to make this, um, just because I wanted it to be, you know, pretty, um, pretty drapey. So <clears throat> anyway, I used 11 balls of this um, almost completely. So probably like 10 and three quarters. And um, so that's, and you saw on the video and or on the pictures in the beginning, uh, what it, you know, how big it was. And I'm five, eight. So that it was, it was very, very long, <laughs> which means that it's very, very, you don't have to certainly make it um, that long. And so the stitch count that you need for this, and I'm sure that there are people out there way smarter than me that were that could do this in a different stitch count, um, but I'm doing it in a stitch count of 19. So your <clears throat> your chain will be however long you want your shawl to be, but it has to be in the count of 19. So multiple of 19, and I did 247. I did a chain of 247. I just have a chain of 19 right here. Um, and actually you have to, so you do your multiples of 19 and then add three. So this is 19 plus three right here. And so for the first row, all we're gonna do is go uh, fourth from the chain. And so remember, we never count this, and we're gonna go, that's all kind of messy up here, but one, two, three, four. And go into that stitch, and we're gonna do just a double, whoopsie poopsie, a double crochet. And it would be super nice if I actually stayed in camera. I'm trying a new system right now, so please bear with me. And so we are just going to do a double crochet in every stitch across, no matter how many you're doing, no matter how long your chain is, just go ahead and do a double crochet in every stitch all the way across until you get to your last stitch and I will join you there. Okay, be right back. Okay, and so here we are, we have one stitch to go, so I'm gonna just slap a double crochet right in there. And we have made it now to the end of our row. So what we are simply going to do is chain three, one, two, three. And this will count, this chain three will count in every row as a stitch, okay? So we chain three and then turn our work. And then now we are going to do the pattern for this bad boy. So this counts as a stitch, right? So when we put our first stitch in, we are not going in here. We're not going into that first stitch because our three chains on the end counts as that. So we're gonna go into the next stitch, do a double crochet, and in the next, a double crochet. And then we are going to do our little, whoopsie poopsie, our little pack. Okay, so now we are going to skip two, skip, 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 and in that next stitch goes two double crochets. And now everything that I'm talking about right now all goes in the same, same stitch. So there's two double crochets. Now we're gonna do a single, just a chain one, and then two more double crochets all in the same spot. And that is going to give us this lovely little shell. 
And so then from here we skip to one, two, and in the next stitch goes a double crochet. So there's one double crochet, and then in the next stitch, another double crochet. And my yarn is being very sassy and getting all tied up on me there, sorry. So two, and then we're gonna do one more double crochet. So we have three, just like we have on our end here. We have three double crochets on this end, we do our pattern, three more double crochets. So basically, once you get this um, this first row done, all of the other rows are super easy because you, if you see a double crochet, you know you have a double crochet. And if you see a shell, then you know you're gonna put a shell in there. So anyway, it's super, this is a crazy easy pattern. So now we're gonna, so we have our three double crochets. We're gonna skip two into the next We're gonna do two, what? Sorry, sorry about that. We're gonna do two double crochets, a single chain, and then two more double crochets, all hollow, all in the same, all in the same stitch. So, we then have another little shell. And so then we're gonna skip two more, skip, skip, and, and you will end every row. Should start with three doubles and end with three doubles. So here we are at the end of this row. Now you see this is a little bit wonka -dooey looking right here. It looks like we have two stitches. So in order to just make that Prettier. I'm going to go in, oopsie daisy, I'm going to go into the top right here of this stitch and sort of just pull it all together. And now we have our just a beautiful three right there. So at this point, what do I do now, April? Well, it's very easy. You just chain three, two, oopsie daisy. It's very easy if you can keep your yarn on your hook. So that is one, two, three, turn your work, rinse and repeat, that's it. So again, super easy pattern. Like if you are a brand new crocheter, this is the Okinawa shawl is an amazing project for you because it's beautiful and it'll look like you worked really hard on it, but it's super easy. And if you just are an advanced crocheter and just want like something to do while you're watching TV, also really great. It can be very mindless. So again, we're going to skip this first stitch because our chain three right here counts as a stitch. So going into that next stitch right there, we're gonna do a double crochet. Oh, for the love of poo, it's, it's kind of hard. Are you leaving little one? My, my girl, little one, she's really not that little, but she's going to hang out with friends. So bye, Sydney. Oh, no, I'm going to get a car wash and then go oh, to the store. Oh, she's going to get a car wash and go to the store. I lied. She'll be back. She'll be back making noise at some point. Um, so there we have our three crochet, our three doubles. And then we're going to go right into the center of our shell and put another shell. One, two doubles. Oh dear. April, for the love of God, woman, have you never held a crochet hook in your life? Okay, so we go again. Chain one, two more doubles, and then we have our shell. So just keep that up, and I will be right Whoops, there we go. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are. Um, so my original pattern was 247 across long, and then I did 27 shells. 
So I had 29 rows in total because of our first, you know, the first row was uh, just double crochet. And then your final row is also going to be double crochet in every single stitch right across the top. And you can leave it that way if you want to. You don't have to do anything else. You could just tie it off and have yourself a pretty little shawl. I did not do that. I continued going. And so what I did is I did three rows of single crochet around the entire shawl. And so if you want to do that, like I said, you could either tie off here or um, just, so I did it here, let me pull that one out. So here's the, the last stitch, the top of my double crochet, and then I'm going to just chain one and do one, two, three chains because it's a corner. Um, if you are super new to crochet and you don't know about doing corners, if you add a couple extra single crochets in a corner, it just makes the turn a lot nicer. So now this brings us to the side of our shawl. And there's no right or wrong way. There are no crochet police that are going to come by and say, oh, I can't believe you didn't put a single crochet in that spot or that you did. So this is really just about you going, yeah, it looks like one will fit there. So I'll put a single crochet in there and I'll put one right here. So basically going down this edge the first time is is really the most difficult part basically because if you go around a second or third time you're going to have all of these single crochets to work in so it's really just this initial time of deciding where you want to put the single crochets on on the edge um, and like i said it's a little bit of a pain in the badonkadonk but it's you know it's fine You'll, you'll do great, I'm sure. You'll have no problems at all. Uh, and so, let me see, where do I wanna put another one? I think I'll put one right there. Oh, nope, that's actually not what I wanted. I wanted to put one right in that little spot right there. And so, now here I am at another corner. Can you see that it's a corner? Yeah. So, I'm gonna do three single crochets in this corner, two, and three. Now you can just hide your tail as you're going around. Um, I tend to only hide it under one or two stitches and then the rest I weave in just because I want to make sure it stays really well. So now this is this is my original single crochet edge, right? So this this right here is my chain and then this was the original row, my first row of double crochets that I did. I am not going to go into every stitch, basically, because I don't wanna. Um, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna go into every space, if you will, and just, I'm not gonna do it super tight. When I come back around on this, it will be, I'm not sure why this thing is on here, what is going on? Okay, maybe this will be a little bit better. There was something weird on my camera. Anyway, um, so these are gonna be kind of loose. This row right here of my, sorry, of my single crochets. But when I come back around, it'll tighten up and, and look pretty. So anyway, I'm just gonna go around the edge and do this single crochet. And like I said, I did it three times. So let me just pull my shawl up. So this is the edge of my Okinawa shawl, and I did three rows of single crochet, and then I added these tassels. You certainly do not have to. Uh, the, the three rows of single crochet and the tassels is really why I ended up using so much yarn uh, to make this shawl, just because, I mean, I just, I felt like doing it, so I did it. But again, you certainly do not have to. But see how it just kind of makes the edge look prettier? Cleans it up quite a bit. So that, my friends, is the Okinawa shawl. I will have uh, the pattern written down in the description box. And if for some reason, um, 
if you want it print printable, just shoot me an email at aprilmoreatt at gmail.com and I will, uh, I'll send you the written pattern. Okay. So anyway, I hope, um, this was fun. I hope if you are a beginner, you feel like you can do it. And I hope if you are a seasoned crocheter that you are like, oh yeah, sweet. That'll be just fun to sit and do and not have to think about too much because really it is so, 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 so easy. And as you can just see, it's you follow, right? The single cro or the double crochets and shells. And it just, the pattern does itself. It just works it out itself. It's super fun. So anyway, I hope you have a really blessed day and I'll be talking with you all soon. Bye.